This is my journey. My journey back home. What, hang on. Our, our journey? Well, Biceps and manager journey? No? Well, you, you say that. It's primarily focused on me being, um, you know, being the main one. Um, so, I yeah. thought we were equal. Well, uh, yeah. So this is my journey, my story, you know, my life, Mike, biceps and banter. It's just, uh, just heading back to Bath, obviously, uh, things really took off and um, I, I ended up moving back. I bought, um, I bought, I suppose it's considered like a semi-mansion, um, back up north. Um, but yeah, come come down to Bath to um, to do a bit of work with um, with uh, my assistant Dan from time to time. So just usually get chauffeured down. Well, where to begin, really? Um, we started this a year ago now, and to be honest, it's like working with a different person. He started off, and he was all like, "Yeah, Dan, look, me and you together, we'll we'll do all this sort of stuff." He promised me the world. Um, you know, I, initially I fell for it. You know, I paid for all the all the branding, paid for all the upfront cost of putting everything together. And as soon as his followers got over over that seven thousand mark on Instagram, he he just changed. Expecting expecting a big turnout, I think. But um, usually the word gets out that I'm I'm coming back because obviously um, I spent I spent a good year there, sort of developing my craft and you know becoming, I suppose. I suppose you could call it a, a national phenomenon. A lot of people would get seven, you know, seven thousand four hundred and sixty followers, and it'd go to the head. Um, but not me, not me. I try to stay down to earth. I, I know my roots, um, and I know where I've come from. Just coming up here, I used to uh, used to live there. A lot of action. I just try to stay stay grounded because, for example, I'll turn up and I'll be, you know, I'll come to Dan's house, and you know, he's got me, he's got me some some Coke Zero cherry, in, and I've asked for I've asked for Pepsi Max, sure. And look, I, I mean, I could, I could go bloody crazy, but you know, after I finished fucking throwing it at his head, um, I just sort of settled down and said, look, just get me, just get me a, a water. A water will do, just a humble water. Make sure it's room temperature, or, you know, you'll, you'll be wearing it. And usually there's quite a bit of hype, a bit of buzz, and people have been known to flock from, you know, up to, up to 15 miles um, to, to, to just come to see me. Um, but yeah, a couple, it's nice being back. It's nice, it's nice being back. Anyway, I'm surprised. I'm surprised if not. Pop a plaque or something. Um, I'm sure, I heard that. Be a plaque. Anyway, how uh, how many are we expecting? Is it a couple of thousand? Is it? We had a few replies, mate. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Everyone must be at work. The way he treats people now is, is ridiculous. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's it's, uh, it's not what I set out to do, to be honest. Mate, can we get a couple of those mines from They look quite good. No, no one wants to see that, mate. Come on, chop chop. You know, I'm 30 now. It's time to grow up, I think. Things are really, really taking off. Um, but it's just times like that, you just think you've just got to stay humble. As long as I keep to my values, keep to my values, and that's all I've got to do. Yes, 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 yes. Probably will some returns, guys. Photos later, yeah? What's up? Yeah, Harry just wants to get shots with his t shirt. Oh, another one, is it? How much are you paying for this gig? Yeah, just as a favour for Harry, you know? Favour for what? Harry. For who? He's got some connections, mate. Who's this guy? Oh, um, uh, camera gimmick. So yeah, I mean, I've I've known Mike for a long time, and and Dan, to be fair, and um, you know, our working relationship's been going on about two years now. Come on, how old? Yeah, oh, I know. How old? How old? I don't know. I don't how know names. No names. Yeah, the last six months, it's just Mike's really just seems to have really changed him. The limited recognition that they do get really seems to have gone to his head. I, I used to encourage it because, you know, I, I wanted them to feel like they were getting something out of it. Like you know, They weren't just wasting their time. But I, I feel like now it's just blown completely out of proportion. I'm not doing it. I'm not 
See you later, Scott. Yeah. Well, oh, mate, can you just quickly pay before you leave? Yeah, photos next time. Sure. I'll, I'll sort that. Dan's a lucky guy. He uh, gets to enjoy the enjoy the wealth with me, which is you know good for him. Sure. Um, don't begrudge that. He can, you know, he's good at carrying um, carrying my stuff and that. He's good at setting the camera up and stuff. Sure, I get to I get to see it all, but it's always through the, the other side of the camera, isn't it? Um, it's not, not quite the same. Do you ever feel like Dan's not pulling his weight? Do you know what? I kind of do because I'm looking at myself and I'm saying, sure, you know, I'm loved by by many. You know, I've got people flooding the inbox saying, "God, you're just like the funniest person I've ever I've ever seen." And I just look at Dan's story and it's drivel, absolute drivel. Like I'm just thinking, "God, it's embarrassing." The association is embarrassing. But what can I say? He's good at admin. Some nights I just cry myself to sleep. To be honest, I just don't know what to do for the best. Um, do you ever think you just might be a bit jealous? So yeah, just come for some food, but I think I think I'll be inspired. Um, so I probably won't be paying for this. In fact, I think I've just been tagging something on on my Instagram. Um, they probably get a bit of buzz. That me. My phone's ringing. Yeah, my phone's ringing. You want me to get it? Oh, that's why I'm paying you for. It's your mum. Hello. Hello. Mike just says no respect. Yeah. What's happened? See my mate, she's a bit upset. I'm just, you know, the gopher that has the camera and takes all his, his equipment with him. And, you know, he'd probably tell you that, you know, I'm lucky to be invited to these things, to be with him. Was it money that she had for, is it? Yeah, well, kind of. Kind of. What? Nan, Nan's died. Uh, she won't know anyway. She wants you to help her arrange the food. Does that look good? No. Thank you, mate. It's, um, it's not been caught up, has it? So, what do we do? What do we do? We want me to cut up, boy. Good to be back in Bath. Good to be back. The old, the old stomping ground. So, yeah. I hope I don't get, don't get hassled too much. Um, but just like Beatlemania, really. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. So, you know, as you can see, you've had a taste of, of what it's like now, I suppose. Um, and to be honest, I'm just, I'm, I'm fed up and. You know, I'm not really that sure, to be honest, how much longer this this can carry on. I mean, this could be the end of Biceps of Banner as we know it. Ben, footstool, come on, Danny boy. Chop, chop. Good, good, learning, see, that's better. There we go, there we go. Oh, graph is it? No, no, can you just sign in? Remember? Sign in? Yes, yeah, health and safety, we need people to sign in. What? It's, it's me. Hi right, guys, this is Mike from Biceps and Banner, and he's today going to talk about yeah. fat loss, why you don't need to Well, maybe I should what? say that. So, uh, it's probably better coming from me, though. They write your name there, Mike. Yeah, who do I make out to? Um, yes, yeah, it's the gym.